Hi, we have a great idea for an activity to do today that involves the night sky. I should say do tonight, because it's gonna involve the night sky and all those stars that you see up there at night. Uh, can you imagine how early humans learned to get from one place to another? They didn't have GPSs like we do now, so hint, they use the night sky. Uh, the character trait of the day today is helpful. So being helpful, as you know, means uh, provide assistance to someone who needs it. And humans, early humans, found the stars in the night sky to be extremely helpful to navigation, uh, to learning their way to get around things. Uh, the, what they discovered is that they could create pictures of the night sky and all the different positions of the way the stars were aligned and exactly the position they were in and how they related to each other. They drew them down and kept them basically as like maps. And they found it useful to uh, navigate, especially on the ocean. Imagine sailing on, on the ocean, uh, you know, miles and miles, hundreds of miles across the ocean when you look around and all you see is water. It all looks the same. Um, and early travelers used the stars to tell where they are. So our activity for the day is similar to that. You're gonna make a drawing of the stars in, in a very similar way that early, early explorers would have used them to tell where they are. Okay, so the console, the stars that I've sh we've chosen, because they are usually the most recognizable, is the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper. So this is the picture that I got here of the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. I think you can see it there. You can find a picture online, grab a trusted adult. It might look a little different than this one because uh, you never know what position they're gonna be in. That's a part of the experiment we're gonna do. But you can see the way the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper are shaped. They're pretty easy to spot in the night sky. So, your job is this. Go outside um, as early as you can, depending on what time the sun sets in your area. As soon as you can see the stars, you're gonna have to wait for maybe a clear night. And I want you to draw a picture of what the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper look like. And I want you to make it as accurate as possible. So pick a spot in your backyard or front yard or wherever and find the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper and draw a picture of what they look like, how they're related to each other, what position they're in. Does it look like this? Is it like that? Is it like that? Is it like that? And try to be as accurate as you can. And then what I want you to do is go back out again three hours later. Now, depending on what time it gets dark there, this might be a little bit late for your time, so talk to your parents, make sure it's okay. Uh, go out a little bit later and draw a picture again and see how it has changed. And what you're gonna notice is they're gonna be in a little bit of a different position. So you're gonna draw two different pictures. I want you to be as accurate as you can, okay? So pay attention to the position that the stars are in and draw them on your sheet of paper exactly as they look when you look up in the sky. And if you really wanna get a good measurement, you can go out a third time, three hours later. Now we're getting really late at night and I want you to talk to your parents about possibly waking up a little bit later than you would normally do. Maybe this is a good activity for a weekend. Draw a third picture and compare those three pictures to how they look. And that will give you an idea of how ancient early explorers used the stars to tell where they were and also kind of what time it is, right? All right, hope you enjoyed it. Give it a shot, let us know how it went and tune in again tomorrow for another activity. Thanks for watching.